バイリンガルウェブマガジン DIG 東京のディレクターを務めるカズーこと G ・カズオペニアです。英語力がどんどんつく学習法へようこそ。DIG 東京は8つのカテゴリーのコラムを日本語と英語で併記しているウェブマガジンです。英語力がどんどんつく学習法は僕がこれまでの翻訳や通訳の仕事を通して培ったさまざまな英語上達についてのノウハウをレッスン形式にまとめたもので、読む、書く、聞く、話すという4つのスキルが身につくと思います。ディグ東京のビジネスやライフスタイルに関するコラムのテキストを用いるのでビジネスですぐに使える英語力や旅行や海外での生活に役立つ英会話力がつきますディグ東京のテキストと YouTube の動画を使ったこのレッスンを繰り返すことで大学受験のための英語力はもちろんのこと TOEIC、TOEFL、英検などの試験のための英語力もどんどんつくことでしょうではこのレッスンの方法について説明しますまずは DIG 東京のテキストのページと YouTube の動画をタブや別ウィンドウを使って両方ともすぐ見られる状態にしてくださいそうしたら DIG 東京の日本語のテキストだけをまず先に読んでください次に英語のテキストだけを読んでください英語のテキストでわからない英単語や熟語をネット検索を使って自分で調べてみましょうもちろんわからない日本語があればそれもチェックしてください次に英語のテキストをもう一度読んでみてください。これで予習が終了です。ここからこの動画によるレッスンを行います。この YouTube の動画を再生させて英語を聞きながら DIG 東京の英語テキストを目読してください。次に英語テキストを見ないでこの YouTube の動画だけを見ながら英語をよく聞いてください。最後に YouTube の音声に合わせて英語テキストを音読してください。以上のステップを繰り返すことで、英語の表現力、読解力、ヒアリング力、スピーキング力が確実に上達するはずです。2回目以降のレッスンの際には、この画面の下にあるもっと見るを開いて、テキストの朗読のところをクリックしてください。すぐにテキスト本文を読み上げる部分に行けます。今回は Language Ensembles 21 Reflections on my Toy Story 4 Interviews 映画トイストーリーの監督、ジョッシュ・クーリーとプロデューサーのマーク・ニールセンへ行ったインタビューを振り返りました。楽しみながらレッスンしましょう。One, about Pixar's latest film, Toy Story 4. For the past two weeks on the show, we've aired my interviews with director Josh Cooley and producer Mark Nielsen, who are in Japan to promote the new Pixar film, Toy Story 4. Pixar Animation Studios is an American animation studio known for its CGI animated feature films. The company got its start in 1979 as the Graphics Group, which was one third of the computer division of Lucasfilm. Steve Jobs, who had recently been fired from Apple, bought the newly independent company. It was acquired by Disney in 2006. The Toy Story series is told from the perspective of sentient toys. That talk and move about freely when not in front of humans. On the surface, the series is centered on the friendship between Woody, a pull string cowboy rag doll, and Buzz Lightyear, a space ranger action figure, the two favorite toys of a young boy named Andy. It's the kind of stuff kids dream of. However, underpinning the colorful visuals are heavy existential questions such as what happens to broken toys? What happens when a toy's owner grows up? Transposed into a real world context, the films tackle issues fundamental to the human condition the fear of abandonment and what it means to grow up. There are 24 years between the original Toy Story and Toy Story 4, and the fact that the series, continue, and the fact that the series continues to captivate children and adults alike is a testament to the universal themes the films explore. Toy Story This film is considered the first feature length film created entirely by CGI. Vintage cowboy ragdoll Woody spends his days as the chief playmate of the young Andy. When Andy receives a bright and shiny new Buzz Lightyear toy for his birthday, Woody begins to feel insecure about his place in his owner's life. Toy Story 2. When Andy accidentally tears Woody's right arm while playing with him, Woody has a nightmare of being thrown away. Later, at a yard sale, Woody is stolen by a toy collector who plans to sell him to a toy museum in Tokyo, Japan. Buzz and the other toys race against the clock to save their friend. The film won a Golden Globe Award for Best Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy. Toy Story 
As he prepares to leave for college, Annie decides to take Witty with him and store Buzz and the others in the attic. When the toys are mistakenly donated to a daycare center, Woody springs into action to save his friends before it's too late. This film won an Academy Award for Best Animated Feature. In the latest film, Toy Story 4, Woody and the gang have been given to a new owner, a young girl named Bonnie. They are joined by a new character named Forky, a spork that Bonnie has turned into a handmade toy. Woody becomes a father figure and guardian to Forky, and faces the challenges of parenthood while also struggling between his sense of duty and the prospect of being free. 24 years on from the first Toy Story, these toys continue to evolve. 2. Toy Story 4, Director and Producer Profiles Director Josh Cooley, Profile Josh Cooley joined Pixar Animation Studios' Story Division as an intern. He worked on films like 2006's Cars and 2007's Ratatouille as a storyboard artist and co-wrote the screenplay for 2015's Inside Out. Toy Story 4 is his directorial debut. Producer Mark Nielsen Profile Mark Nielsen joined Pixar Animation Studios in 1996. He worked as a modeling and shading coordinator on 1999's Toy Story 2. He served as a story manager and crowds manager for 2006's Cars and the associate producer of films like 2015's Inside Out. Toy Story is his first feature-length film as producer. Cars Brash rookie racer Lightning McQueen attempts to become the first rookie to win the championship of a race called the Piston Cup in this road comedy film. The film is set in a world populated by anthropomorphized cars and other vehicles. No humans or animals appear in the film. This film won a Golden Globe for Best Animated Feature Film. Ratatouille Remy, an anthropomorphic rat, dreams of becoming a chef. When he is found by garbage boy Alfredo Linguini at a famous French restaurant, the two decide to team up to become the number one chef in Paris. This film won the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature, the Golden Globe Award for Best Animated Feature, and numerous other awards. Inside Out 11-year-old Riley must leave her small hometown in Minnesota when her family relocates to San Francisco. As she struggles to acclimate to the big city, five personifications of her basic emotions, joy, sadness, fear, disgust, and anger, are busy at work in her mind's headquarters. This film won the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature, the Golden Globe Award for Best Animated Feature, and numerous other awards. 3. Why Pixar is able to consistently innovate since Pixar first put itself on the map with Toy Story, it has produced an impressive string of hits. While its story-first approach is what has made those hit films so enduring, the studio is equally recognized for continually pushing the envelope of computer animation. At the center of it all is the Toy Story series. In my interview with producer Mark Nielsen, he told me that the studio had basically been founded on the success of the characters from Toy Story. And when asked why Pixar is able to consistently produce hits, he said, it's all about the people and the spirit that is in the people that work at the studio. When I was interviewing director Josh Cooley, the subject of his two children came up when I asked him about adulthood and parenthood, the central themes of Toy Story 4. He spoke about how he related to Woody's struggle as well as the existential crisis experienced by Forky, a handmade toy that believes he is trash. When I asked how he dealt with the pressure of being a first-time director, he told me that he learned about how important it is to delegate decisions to people who are smarter than you. Incidentally, if you were to ask people who they thought holds main authorship over a film, most Japanese people would say the director. That's partly due to the fact that audiences have been spoiled by the 20th century visionaries of cinema, directors like Steven Spielberg, Martin Scorsese, and Kurosawa Akira. However, it takes a producer to get a film greenlit, as well as to get that film across the finish line. A director is responsible for bringing a screenplay to the screen through the lens of their vision. They are at the front lines of the production, providing direction for filming, editing, and the other specifics of the production. In contrast, a producer handles contract negotiations with cast members and, and makes sure that the director stays under budget, on schedule, and does not go rogue. 
To put it another way, the producer serves as a parental figure, respecting and cultivating the director's vision, while at the same time constantly providing the reality check that keeps the director grounded. When Cooley said that he thought it was important to delegate decisions to people who are smarter than him, he wasn't just talking about technical wizardry. He was talking about the producers on the film. Toy Story 4 is Cooley's feature-length directorial debut. It is also the first time Nielsen has served as producer on a feature-length film. Although I interviewed the two of them separately, when taken together, my conversations with them showed me just how deep the well of human resources is at Pixar. The relationship between director and producer encapsulates how the studio incubates the next generation of filmmakers. It is able to consistently produce hits because it is a company that flourishes by allowing its employees to thrive. A first-time director such as Cooley is able to throw himself into the production and realize his vision because he has senpai like Nielsen watching his back. The box office success of Toy Story 4 around the world comes as no surprise. 4. My Wardrobe for the Interviews Navy Dotted Tie by Ralph Lauren Big Brother lent me this Ralph Lauren vintage necktie for these interviews. Navy Suit by Global Style. Blue Contrast Collar Shirt by Azabu Taylor. Black Socks by Isetan Men's. Wingtip Shoes by Regal. Blue Swirl Cufflinks by MFYS. M27 Glasses by Four Nines. Ijo, Language and Ensembles 21. Reflections on my Toy Story 4 interviews. No ego text or rodok shimashita. Ikaga deshita ka? Saishin no Toy Story dewa, Udi ga oya ni naru to wa dou yu koto ka, jidit suru to wa dou yu koto ka, ga tema toshite tori agerare teimasu. Kodomo demo, otona demo, tanoshimeru sakuin to nat teimasu. Kono contents ga kini itta ra, YouTube no kono doga no midi shite ni aru botan kara, channel toroku o zehi okonat te kudasai. テキストの最後にある Facebook、Twitter、Instagram のアイコンから、DIG 東京の公式アカウントに入り、フォローしてください。ご意見、ご要望がありましたら、YouTube や SNS のコメント欄にご記入ください。www.digtokyo.jp